Where does Andres Pete rank in most hated Saints player by Saints fans? He's up there. Like, Saints fans hate that dude. This only just seems like the, the last season in particular that that's come about. Like, let it linger. I, I don't know, man. Let it linger a little bit, you know, another year or so. I don't know. I'm not ready to put him in the uh, on the Mount Rushmore. Of- it's a hard match, though, Scott. I was trying to think of a – Saints fans, we've hated players. Jason David, Brandon Browner, Adrian Peterson for Kevin. But all the players – Jonathan Sullivan. Mentioned, Jonathan <laughs> Sullivan. All of the players we mentioned, right, they all were oh. terrible. Andres Pete is not terrible. So I have a hard time finding a player like him that Saints fans have such vitriol for. Maybe Fred Thomas, but at the That's, end, yeah. he, yeah. he struggled. That, that's the guy that comes to my mind. Like he was, he had some good years, but by nature of that position, I think when you're a corner, you, you have a couple of bad games and you're just done for some fans. And in 06, he had some bad days and he had some bad days in the postseason. And so they forget that in the, you know, Jim Haslett era, like he was, he wasn't a bad player. Like Pete's a guy that's been to Pro Bowls, like coaches like him. I think he got off on the wrong foot, right? His first camp, he's out of shape. Then he's injury prone. He's like, when you drop your iPhone and it doesn't have a case on it, you like freak out anytime it falls. Like anytime Pete hits the ground, you're like, is he, is he done for the year or is he going to pop back? up you know you have to send them to ir you have to send them to the repair shop but in terms of how saints fans view this guy i think you're right ralph it's like he's polarizing in some aspects in that he doesn't really have too many defenders i guess me just pointing out like you know like it's been said by a lot of people right like his mistakes are just magnified and then he's injury prone he came into his first camp out of shape. They wanted him to be a tackle, but then he had to be a guard because he couldn't play tackle. And then Sean Payton calls him out publicly. So there are all these sort of skins on the wall for these fans that like can't stand him that anytime he does something good or there's something nice written about him, they're like, yeah, we'll just check the wall. Like, it doesn't matter. Who cares if he did something good? He he's got really through injury. Yeah, I mean, but he's he's a powerful guy. He he goes up against three technique D tackles like a lot, and he pushes them around a lot. Like the Saints have a good run game. He has something to do with that, but nobody wants to hear that. I don't know who took that photo of him running in practice, like and raising canes is in the background, but that's that one goes in like the the Saints Twitter hatred of a player in the Hall of Fame. That photo, I don't think it's fair. I, I think I think people are a little unfair to Pete, but. It's weird, man. It's like you're not going to convince somebody. He could be – he's been to Pro Bowls. So he could be a first-team APL pro, and I guarantee you most of the Saints Twitter would be like, nah, he sucks. Thanks for watching the Saints Happy Hour. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Then find us wherever you get your podcast. And finally, go to saintshappyhour.com and become a patron of the best Saints podcast on earth.